Hey, you guys, this is Real Talk, and uh, I'm coming to you with another episode. I'm, I was inspired to do this episode because of a video I'm just watching, and um, I finally figured out how to how to do this because my my, sit, my setup is kind of toe up. But hopefully this picks up because it's coming from another computer. Uh, I'm gonna actually play this uh, this clip from Homeboy. Uh, well, he's gonna tell tell you who he is, but uh, I want you to hear this clip of what this this guy is saying about the industry, and then I'll put my uh, my comments after what after he's talking. Okay, so check it out. That I've encountered an executive in my field, and they came on to me, and they came on to me through other people, and I know for a fact as. If I would have succumbed to the homosexual lifestyle, that I would have became an executive and I would have went further than where I was at in my career. I know this for a fact. And because, look, Clive Davis came out just a few years ago and admitted that he was bisexual, right? But he didn't say that years, years back then. So now we got all these guys that everybody... Behind closed doors, they say they, they, they gay or they homosexual or they bisexual. But if you say it out loud, you getting killed, you know. So yeah, now y'all know, if something happened to me after this interview, if something happened to Doggy Diamonds after this interview, y'all know that everything that the motherfuckers is saying out there is true. Because it took me a lot for me to just say what the f*** just said. So if I get killed... Mysteriously, I'm not on no drugs. I didn't, there's nothing wrong with me. My health is fine. If anything happens to Doggy Diamonds, nothing's wrong with his health. He's not on any drugs. Then y'all know this is true. You know what I'm saying? It's a, a lot of undercover gay shit going on in this industry. And no white, you know, if you talk about it, it's like you gay bashing. But we not gay bashing. It's just, it's, it just got to a point where it's just some heterosexual discrimination going on. And if you ain't gay or you don't want to play in the gay, you know, in the gay pond, you're not going to advance. And I didn't understand it, but now it all makes sense that everything's so flagrantly out there like that because all these dudes been living behind this wall for all this time and now they finally getting their they time where they could be themselves and some of them are still hiding but we all know the truth now you know what i'm saying especially those in our 40s and 50s we know what y'all doing we know what y'all did man yo there's so many of y'all rappers that that and i'm not mad at y'all y'all wanted success y'all wanted fame you know y'all wanted y'all wanted y'all wanted y'all need to feed your family some of y'all may may had a little uh uh curiosity as far as the gay lifestyle and some of y'all just said it. y'all was homeless you know what i'm saying and just did what y'all had to do but y'all get y'all can't keep stopping those that don't want to do that from advancing i don't think the is fair no more and it ain't it ain't just rappers it's actors it's y'all actors out there it's y'all executives at the networks it's y'all 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 in hollywood you know, it's all y'all with the power. It's not like Flex. Flex, we know what y'all doing. I know what you did to get where you at, Flex. You can't get mad at me because I didn't succumb to that shit, my nigga. All right. Um... <clears throat> <laughs> I can attest to this guy's uh, uh, what he's saying. Now, in my particular case, I've always uh, I'm a scary looking dude. Not scary, but just the people that know me um, they kind of know that I was a hard sell. Like, like I had, I have certain ways that I am. I mean, now that I'm older, I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm mellow. 
I can talk to folks. Folks can talk to me um, uh, through my worldly travels because I, you know, toured the world a few times, whatever. It kind of mellowed me out. <laughs> but when I was younger, I was like not approachable at all. <laughs> They would not approach me at all because I had this this big log on my shoulder. It wasn't a chip. It was a log. <laughs> and my pops, he always used to tell me, Tu asustas gente. <laughs> he would always tell me that I scare people. <laughs> uh, and I didn't really understand what he was saying back then, you know, because I was a teenager. You know, when you're a teenager... You know, you think you know it all, and and you you're gonna conquer the world, and you have this pre, you have this pre precept of the world, perception of the world, of how you think it is, right? Not knowing that what you think the world is and what the world actually is is too is, is way, like like day and night. <laughs> it's nowhere near what you thought it was, and only through the course of living, um. Do you understand that you were completely wrong? You know, um, I think maybe through the course of, of my career, a lot of people may have come at me, but because they saw that I was so, uh, so set in my ways, you know, against homosexuality. Or maybe they just, they they just picked up right away that that I wasn't down. They didn't even they didn't even think to pitch it to me or even ask me or nothing because honestly I can honestly say I've never really I don't remember a time in my life where where they ever came up to me directly. Never really. Because I've been pretty vocal the whole time now that I think back. No, I can't. I, I'm not going to do no homo stuff, man. Ever. And according to what this one cat was saying right here, like, like they stopping you from advancing. Okay, now, for instance, um, I, I was watching another video about Pastor Anderson. That's the one cat that got beat down at the checkpoint down there in Arizona. And then he wind up beating... Uh, the he wound up winning his case against the border patrol, but that's that's the cat from Tempe, Arizona. That's the pastor from, Te from Tempe, Arizona, and he had a he was supposed to go to like uh, overseas to go do some preaching, but they now they canceled his uh, his reservation for the hall because of of his uh, gay remarks. See, they're taking over. They have control over all the money and finances, or a lot of it, not mo not all of it, but a lot of it. And slowly but surely, they're finding ways to infiltrate the heterosexual community. And you know, the first, you know, first, I accept us, you know. God loves us, and yeah, 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 yeah. But see, here's the problem, and like I've said in you know, our previous video. In accepting you, I'm den I'm 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 disrespecting God, because God already done told us that's not that's not acceptable. So why am I going to accept something that God won't accept? Now you guys can jump jump up and down, turn blue in the face. No, but you're wrong and you're judging, and I'm not judging, man. I didn't write the Bible. I have nothing to do with what was written in that Bible. Yeah, but the Bible's wrong, and Mandela, yeah, 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 right, 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 right. We all know that there's some stankiness there when it comes to two men flopping around playing flippy flop with their dookie sticks. That's not cool, and I, I will never accept it. I don't like it. Billion, millions of people out there don't like that because it feels dirty. It feels disgusting. It just no. Now I don't care how you package it. You can you know, you're trying to come talking about I'm judging. I ain't judging you. I'm following God's law, just like I'm supposed to. 
Now, you decide to go break God's law, and then you're going to run to Washington talking about we got rights, and then have them make some fake laws against God's law. Well, then that's, and then try to ram it down my throat. That ain't cool either. You think because you, you, you ran out to Washington and got them to agree with your garbage, and then you're going to force it down my throat. You're not going to do that, because I'm not going to let you. I'm not going to let you. I don't care how many guns they got. But the point that I'm getting at is this. It's coming to the it's coming to the point in our society where the, you need to either play ball, accept gay, or stand for God. And there ain't no half stepping. You go you're gonna have to make your decision. Because I'm telling you, and this not only applies to music, it applies to corporations, it applies to that corporate job that you got over there applies to the post office, it applies to every spectrum of life because they are the ones that are dominating now because they are satanic, because the system is satanic. The, the one good system that was in place, the, the God-fearing system is no longer the system that's, in, that's a do, the dominating factor because people are punking out. Nobody wants to stand for God, and the people that are standing for God are being eliminated. They're being eliminated, they're being called crazy, they're, we're being called hate, hate speech. <laughs> you're going to break the law of God, and then you're going to call it hate speech. <laughs> it's funny how the, how the devil always calling the kettle black when he's the one that's doing all the dirt. You know, I never want to sleep with a man. Never, ever. That's never going to happen. Ever. I like women. And I'm having a hard enough time trying to find a good woman and, you know, me do my part and she do her part according to God's laws. So that's a separate issue. But, no. I'm following God's rules. I have no problem following God's laws. You know, a lot of people like the rebellion. They like to, you know, I'm going to do what I'm going to do. And then that's why you dying, too. That's why you're getting AIDS and, and, and your Sigma jig is falling off. That's why, you know, you get beat up. You know, because you're taking on the, the, the curse of Satan. Because it, it, from the appearance out here, it may look like, like Kardashian and, and all of them got it going on. With You know, they got all the, all the planes. But what are they doing for all that stuff? What are they doing behind closed doors? What, what faggotries are they doing behind closed doors? Excuse my language. I know I shouldn't have used that word because it's an offensive word, so I apologize for that. But what I'm getting at is what are they doing <clears throat> to it to, to keep and maintain that level of quote unquote success? Is it worth damning your your soul for that? Burning in hell? Cause God ain't playing. I'm going to tell you that right now. God is not playing. Everybody thinks that he's an absentee landlord and that he ain't around and la, 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 la. And he's around where I'm at. I feel him all day long, every day. And I know that God ain't playing. Jesus ain't playing. People keep dis disrespecting Jesus, blasphemy against Jesus. And they just keep dogging Jesus out, thinking that Jesus ain't going to come back and judge you. Now, that's your judge. Jesus Christ is your judge. So when you guys talking about, you judging me, you judging me. No, Jesus Christ is judging you. Because that's the Son of God. And make no mistake about it. When the judgment really comes from the real judge, not me or, or any of us Christians, you know, because we're, 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 we're going around preaching hate. We're not preaching hate. We're just trying to warn y'all. As a matter of fact, we're preaching love. We're trying to warn y'all, don't do this thing. Don't get on, on deck with, with, with the gay agenda, you know, because they, 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 they dangling stuff in your face and cars and money and, and clothes and, 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 and because it's 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 <laughs> you're gonna lose who you are. I mean, the hatred toward God is because they have the Asmodeus demon within them, 
and the gay agenda and everybody that's on deck with the gay, even if you accept, well, I'm not trying to tell people how to act. And, okay, fine. I'm not really trying to tell you how to act neither. But the problem that I'm having is that you're bringing that stuff out in public. And then you're trying you're trying to get me to accept it when I don't want to. I'm not trying to make you accept being straight. If you're gonna be gay, okay, I can't stop you. Nor do I have a right to, really. You, you know, because you can't force people to act right. However, if you're getting beat up and you're getting sick and you're dying of AIDS and and all this, and then and then you always constantly saying "poor me, poor me." Well, maybe. You shouldn't be doing that. That's the equivalent of you having a gun and shooting yourself in the foot, talking about poor me, poor me. Well, don't shoot yourself in the foot, and then you wouldn't be in pain. Hello? You know, don't don't self-mutilate. You. Don't, you know, mutilate yourself. Don't hurt yourself. That's what you're doing. And then the, the, the really bad part is you're coming to me wanting me to hurt myself. No. <laughs> no. No, I'm never going to join your little gang there. I would rather live in poverty and rely on God's, rely on Jesus to provide whatever it is. Whether it's a lot, a little, don't matter. Beans, rice, whatever. Uh, you know, I know it's it doesn't sound appealing, but that's okay. As long as I'm good with Jesus, that's all that, work, that's all that matters to me. Now, you heard this one gentleman here that says that they're being stopped. So I'm telling you, I'm telling y'all, in my own personal experience, I have hit roadblocks while I'm out there. And I hadn't thought about it until now. But that's probably what it was because they picked up on, they picked up on that I wasn't never going to give in to what they were really after, which is for me to play ball, so to speak. But see, I did the right thing, and, and I and I turned everything in. Now, now they 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 they're kind of coming at me like sideways through supposed my supposed friends, because see, you got to be careful of your family and your friends. Satan is a tricky bastard. He's going to use your family. He's going to use your friends. He's going to use your the ones that you love and the ones that are supposedly supposed to love you. Those are going to be your worst enemies. Those are the ones that, that are going to get in your ear and try to convince you, no, nah, man, you're wrong, you're wrong. Is that Satan talking to them? Because they are not protecting themselves against Satan. And the Bible clearly tells us that, that members of your own household are going to be your enemies. Those are the ones that are going to snitch you out eventually. So you but you better, you better be mindful of that right now. All in all... <laughs> Let me tell you something. You guys better get ready because they're coming to you. They're gonna. Some are gonna be. Uh, 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 they're gonna be like upfront about it in your face. Others are gonna be sneaking through the through the back door. Others are gonna come in as your friends. You know, and then and then little by little they're gonna convince you. You know, come on, let's hang out, let's party, and then oh, here's my gay friend, and then they're gonna like invite them to the gay table and. There's a lot of ways that they're going to try to try to get up around you, and they're going to try to infiltrate. That's why I'm a loner. I'm a loner. I don't let hardly anybody around me. Nobody. How can the Satan get around you if you don't let nobody in your little circle? Because there is no circle. The only ones I let around me is people that I allow to come come around me. You know, and there's people that I, I know, and even them. You know, I don't really suspect them because I've been knowing them for years, but, but they already know who I am, what I am, how I am. They know that, I, they know that I, like, I'm kind of cool on these videos, but don't get it twisted, boy, because I will pull people, <laughs> I will pull people on blast. I mean, even in some of these videos, I was, I was kind of nasty. I mean, I'm going to, you know, I don't know whoever listened to the previous ones, but I get kind of nasty in these videos. I'm kind of checking them out. I think I'm about to remove some of them, actually. But what I'm getting at is this. If I'm talking to the homosexual, it's not out of hate. It's because I love you, man. 
I love you, woman. Don't hurt yourself. Don't be, don't buy into the lie that it's all good, that you can live like that. la di da you are going up against the creator of the world, man. The creator of humanity, the creator of all the trees and bushes <laughs> and light and day, night and day and water and mountains. and I mean, don't, don't be so arrogant to think that you can handle power like that. I'm telling you, it's like you're a little germ giving lip, lip, lip to, to God. What can you do against the creator of, of heaven and earth? That's not smart. That's not wise. And some of, some of people are going to hear this and actually start thinking about things. Others are going to straight hate. And others will just agree. At this point, I'm going to accept all comers because Jesus accepted all comers. And there's a lot of, you know, one thing that I'm going to say against Pastor Anderson is this. He says that this is Sodomite and they can never be saved. No, 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 that's not true. I believe that if people truly repent of their sins, no matter where they're at in their lives, and if they truly accept Jesus in their heart, Jesus will accept them. Because I can't see my God and the Jesus and you know the God that I follow, Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit and Almighty God. You know, if we're the lost sheep and then one of us happens to come back, he's gonna he's gonna be happy. He's gonna be happy to see you because you finally came home. Instead of just roaming roaming around and just getting lost in the wilderness, which is what y'all are. You guys are lost in the wilderness and Satan is just tearing you up. And he, he, he's lying to you and you guys are buying into all, all the lies and curses and everything that's going on out there. But if you, if you truly repent of what you're doing and get away from that lifestyle and get away from, from them supposed friends. Because Satan ha has you captive through the people that you associate with. See, that's why I associate with nobody. So that's why I've been slippery from Satan for, for, since I was a kid. I know that I know that thing hates me. He hates me. He can't stand me. But even as a kid I knew, nah man. I've always been a loner. Most of my family, most of my siblings in my family are loners. We're loners. We want to be alone because we want to see who's around us. We want to check, oh, you know, this person is coming in with some funny style thought pat processes. Now you know what, bro? I'm a, you know, hey, hey, man, man, you want to do something? Not really, man. Oh, no, I'm busy. Uh, oh, yeah, man, well, maybe next week, maybe two weeks, maybe a month. Little by little, you push them out. There's ways. Anyway, I just wanted to run this past you, and hopefully I don't get flagged for this one because, you know, YouTube's kind of funny style. But I just wanted to, to uh, uh, put this out there that, look, man, It's coming down the pipe, whether you like it or not. And like I said in my previous video, they're going to do what they're going to do. You better strap on and you better pick your side. Now, you can pick the gay agenda side, but that's the losing battle. You, you're going to lose over there. I mean, if you read the Bible, whether you believe it or not, God wins. Jesus wins. We win. <laughs> So I don't know about you, but I like being on, on the winning team. I don't want to be on the loser team. But hey, you know, if you want all them fast cars and having all, all your goodies all popped out in people's faces, and having, you know, being all naked, basically, and you want to run around exposing yourself and, you know, destroying your temple, because, you know, all them homosexual acts is destroying your temple. And some of that destruction is irrevocable. You can't reverse it. It's irreversible. And once you do that damage, it's, it, you know, they're already damaging us through all all the funky food that they're serving us. And, and, you know, and I guess that's why, you know, you need the money because then you're going to live better. And da, 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 da. But see, all that is just there to ensnare you. 
anyway, this is real talk. I'm, you know, I just came to you, you know, I was inspired by this one cat over here saying that, um, that it's already, the game is already rigged. So the sodomites are already coming out in, 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 in droves to, to pr pretty much overtake you. You better have balls to tell them to their face, no, man. We gonna do this to you. You gonna do what you gonna try. Now you gotta remember, and I'm gonna leave you with this one. <laughs> I love Jesus, right? I'm a Christian, right? I'm also a sinner, right? Me being a sinner means under the un, under 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 the law, under the Constitution, I have a right to self defense. So if you come in with guns and you come in, in to try to harm me, I have the right to defend myself. Self-defense. Y'all better keep that in mind when you when you try to come with your nonsense. Because even though I'm a Christian, I'm not just going to stand there and let you hurt me. Now, that's what Jesus did. But then again, I'm not Jesus. I'm a man that sins. Now, is that the right thing to do? Probably not, because I should do what Jesus does. But I'm not. I'm, I'm most likely, I'm not going to do that. I'll be honest with you. I'm not going to just let you come and kill me. <laughs> so I'm going to do everything in my power to probably hurt you back, plus tax and fees and penalties. <laughs> just keep that in mind, all right? Anyway, <clears throat> y'all need to get straight with our Lord Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit and Almighty God. That's all I'm saying. I mean, you can do whatever you want. I'm not trying to tell you what to do because I, I really don't have that right. I'm just suggesting that this is coming, whether we like it or not. So put on, you know, get ready for the battle because it's here. It's already in our face, basically. Anyway, this is real talk. I'm going to hop off this thing, and I'm going to catch up with you guys next time.